again, fourth grade, Miss Lichtel here for Math Lesson 533, which is about subtracting mixed fractions from mixed fractions. And the problem that we're going to work on today is 4 and 3 eighths minus 2 and 5 eighths. Okay, we have two mixed fractions here that we are subtracting. And we're going to get a little fancy here. Instead of using subtraction to solve the subtraction problem, we're going to think about how we could use addition. How could you use addition to solve this problem? Hmm. I want you to pause the video for a moment and I want you to think either to yourself or if you're working with a sibling or a parent, think about how you can use addition to solve this subtraction problem. Pause the video. Do it. Really pause it. Hopefully you paused it. Hopefully you didn't just listen to me telling you to pause it. Hopefully you actually did it. Um, anywho, so we are going to use addition to solve this problem. So four and three eighths is our whole, okay? And two and five eighths is our part because we know in subtraction it's whole minus part equals part. Addition, however, is part plus part equals the whole. So because 2 and 5 eighths is our part, um, we are going to start with 2 and 5 eighths. And our goal is to get to 4 and 3 eighths, which is our whole. Whole minus part equals part. But in addition, part plus part equals the whole. So we're going to start off with 2 and 5 eighths. And in order to figure out what we're going to add here to get to 4 and 3 eighths, which will end up being our, our answer, the other part, um, I encourage you to think about, you know, how we can get to the next whole. Okay? We're going to break it up into, into increments, into parts. So 2 and 5 eighths, how can we get from 2 and 5 eighths to the next whole? if my pen decides to work. There we go. How can we get from two and five eighths to the whole, to the next whole? Well, the next whole would be three. From two and five eighths to three, let's see, this, uh, this five eighths um, is a fraction below one. So if we get this fraction to one whole, then we'd get to three. So five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths, that would get us to three because eight eighths and plus two is three. So that's gonna take us three eighths. So to get from here to here, we need to add three eighths. I know this seems interesting, but just stay with me. Okay, let's see how much it takes for us to get to the next hole. The next hole after three would be four. Our units are eighths. Okay, so from three to four, that's plus one, but let's stick with eighths for right now. So one whole would be eight eighths plus eight eighths. Um, so we're trying to get to four and three eighths. So we don't need to try to get to the next whole because what we're trying to get to is four and three eighths. So our last jump is going to be to four and three eighths. From four to four and three eighths, we just need to add three eighths. So plus three eighths. Alrighty. So we've shown on our whiteboard or a piece of paper, whatever you're writing on, um, how we can get through, you know, in, in parts and in increments, how we can get from two and five eighths to three to four and then to three and four eighths. These little parts that we added these hmm they're important but why well these are going to be our answer in our addition problem they're gonna be our other part so let's add them together so three eighths you know we'll just write it down three eighths plus eight eighths plus three eighths Three plus eight is 11. 11 plus three is 14 eighths. Okay. 
Now we can leave it as an improper fraction or um, because we are dealing with mixed fractions, it's nice to keep the form the same. So let's keep the form the same. Um, I'd like for you to create a mixed fraction from um, 14 eighths, or improper fraction, create it, or uh, turn it into a mixed fraction. I'm gonna do it on my whiteboard. Let's see. If you're still solving, you might wanna pause the video, and wait till you're done. All right, so 14 eighths, when I did a my number bond, I split 14 eighths into, well, we know the units are eighths, so one whole would be eight eighths. What we have left over, that is six eighths. Eight eighths is the same as one whole, and then we have six eighths left over. So we know that this gives us one and six eighths. So what do we do with this information? What does this represent? If you're working with a partner or a parent, talk about what this represents. We just went through a whole lot of steps. What does this represent? Well, we used addition to solve the subtraction problem. We took our part and we saw what other part we would need to get to the whole, which was four and three eighths, which was like we found one and six eighths. So we know that the other part is one and six eighths. Let's put that into our subtraction problem. So we know subtraction is whole minus part equals part. Our other part is one and six eighths. One and six eighths. Um, I really encourage you guys to go back and rewatch this video because there is a lot of there's a lot of different parts going on. Um, it's always really smart to rewatch things and uh, make sure that you truly understand. Um, keep in mind, again, like I've said in almost every video, there are different ways of thinking about this and solving. I encourage you to try a different way. Maybe you use a number line. Um, maybe you decompose. Maybe, you know, there's there's lots of ways. I encourage you to, you know, on your whiteboard or your piece of paper, solve this problem in a different way. Um, as long as you get to one and six eighths, then you know that you did it right. But if you didn't get one and six eighths, try it again. Because that's how we learn best, from mistakes. Um, alrighty, friends, so I believe that is all that I have for you. Um, keep in mind that for this lesson, there are a few um, questions or problems in the packet for you to go over, um, showing a few different strategies. So this is all I have for you. Um, happy learning and happy subtracting of fractions, and I will see you all next time.